very different. I'm going to tell you from that of a medical science expert. Because when I was practicing, my interest was that of a scientist. That means I look at evidence. You heard of the term placebo effect? It's very powerful. Huh? One of the first studies on placebo effect were people who were told that they have liver cancer. And for years, they improved dramatically because psychology, positive thoughts can create changes in your body and it can be healing. That's why one of the reasons why cancer patients die faster if they don't change their mindset is because of this. When you're negative, all the bad chemicals start to come. So I'm very concerned that this is not a placebo effect. This is what the Chinese call hao xiaowa. You know the term? It means all bullshit. So I'm convinced it's not, and I tell you why. I have experience with this technology uh, as far back as eight, nine years ago when I play with the instrument, something similar to this. But, and, and we basically work with cancer patients. So you can see that I have quite some experience and knowledge as this. So, what do you mean of this statement? If there is a way to heal the bones, then all disease can be cured. Is this true? How many of you use heat when you have problems with your health? The TCM Chinese doctor. TCM do. I think all of us do. Even Western doctors, physiotherapists, tell you the warm pads and what, uh, ice pads, different uses. So, it is definitely true the heat can do a lot of things to our body. And in fact, the reason why we are warm-blooded is because heat is synonymous with energy. Heat is a form of energy, if you remember your O-level physics, right? So, the future of medicine is a medicine of frequencies. Again, what do you understand by this? Do you know? Huh? Electromagnetic. No, not just electromagnetic. Do you know that everything has a frequency? The opera singer can crack the glass. Huh? Uh, soldiers mar marching across the bridge, if they're in, in, in synchrony with the, the frequency of the bridge, the bridge can collapse. And if you look at YouTube, you just frequency and healing. You find a lot of people have, have experiments with a lot of frequencies. And that's because frequency does heal. Music therapy is frequency, isn't it? And I can tell you the NUH is doing a lot of studies with the elderly using music therapy, using Qigong therapy, all kinds of therapy. So certainly this is the thing. So one of the top 10 most advanced technology in the world. This was set about 20, 2014, 2015. Okay, why is the top 10? I will explain later on. Because this is the... This, this technology is in health, which is I mean, what I mean, in science, military, agriculture, and communication. I'll tell you more as we go along. So, this is what is terahertz is. Do we have a pointer? No. Never mind. On a TV, the, 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 the laser pointer won't work. So terahertz is between microwave and infrared. These are radio waves. Huh? So this is study as uh, electronics. On this side is, a, is sound, study of sound. This is human vision. It's this narrow band here. Okay. So we have infrared, ultraviolet. And you know ultraviolet is harmful, right? You know that. <laughs> what about infrared? Infrared is very useful. We use infrared to see in the dark. Uh, and you can use infrared cameras to see things that you ordinarily cannot see. And infrared, there are actually three bands. Near infrared, mid infrared, and far infrared. But technically speaking, tetrahertz waves are part of far infrared. There's a big difference between far infrared and near infrared. Near infrared, the traditional infrared, you can see. 
The infrared line you can, you can see is reddish, right? Far infrared you cannot see. And that's one of the indications of it. But you can detect it with the proper sensors. Hmm? And I'll tell you more about uh, infrared. And because it is between microwave and infrared, it has the properties of infrared. It has the properties of microwave. So if you want to understand, this is what it means. Okay? So, uh, there's something I want to say about tetrahertz. Uh, never mind. Yeah, it will come back later because I will come to it again. So the, the, the tetrahertz wave is from 30 micrometers to 3000. It's actually quite wide. Later when I talk about the frequency of the cell, I'll explain to you. This is a very wide area. It's from very low to very high frequencies of the transverse waves. Now, this one uh, is something that I come up with. The properties of terahertz waves that are important to our biology. One, it is very low energy. So it doesn't damage your cells. Of course, uh, uh, higher frequencies nearer the infrared side okay at a considerable after a considerable time it can cause some damage but otherwise it does not damage and it penetrates through materials you put a terahertz emitter waves inside door close everything with all the bearing with it you can pick it up in the next room it can penetrate through dielectric dielectrics are insulators Anything that insulate, it will not penetrate. But it is absorbed by polar compounds, including water. Polar compounds are conductors of electricity. And this is a very important property of terahertz waves. And the energy corresponds to hydro bonds and Van der Waal forces. You see, if you study physical chemistry, you know that Atoms and molecules form bonds, right? They get combined, join up together. The bond is very strong, the force is very strong. Imagine the atomic or nuclear bomb. It needs a lot of energy to break up the bonds. And when you break up the bonds, a lot of energy is produced. Why? Because the energy is within the bond. So you can imagine how powerful this energy are. But they are also weak bonds. And the important bonds are hydrogen bonds, hydrogen bonds sometimes uh, get stuck together with a very weak bond. So are those Van der Waal forces. Van der Waal forces are very important as far as water is concerned. Water molecules are held together by Van der Waal forces. So water molecules actually are in sheets, in layers. Okay, They're held together as a cluster. That's why water is viscous. Water is viscous in the sense that when, when you pour water out, you find that water is still stuck together, right? Because of its viscosity. And when water is stuck together, it is due to the Van der Waal forces. So what terahertz waves is able to do is to break it up. And of course, the alkaline water, they say, is able to, to make your water uh, into smaller clusters so it can penetrate. Uh. So it's actually not alkaline in the sense that it's alkaline. It's alkaline in the sense that it lacks the protons uh, and a lot of electrons it replaces a proton. And these electrons actually neutralize the wonder power. It's more or less yes. like a bioavailability for easy digestion. It's supposed to be bioavailable. That's what people say. And there are some indications from what people say to, 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 to suggest that it benefits you. Okay? But how long it lasts? Terahertz lasts in milliseconds. Mm -hmm. So it may not last very long. Okay? So to persist, it requires more energy to be in that level. So it, it also depends on what, what kind of energy. It's absorbed differently by various biological tissues. Now, you are 70% water. Some tissue of yours are, have more water than others. 
So because of that, uh, it's absorbed terahertz wave differently. And so when you shine on it, what happened? When you expose it to terahertz waves, you find that different tissues will absorb differently. And this difference can be seen, actually can be seen if you have the correct sensors. Okay? So, because of this, they manifest a property called Rayleigh scattering. Now, when you shine a light on anything, the light scatter, right? And you can take a photo, you can do whatever. So, that's what happened with terrorist wave when you shine it at the body. And that's what happened nowadays at airports. Security scans. Uh, they shine the terahertz wave and they can see all kinds of objects, including objects not picked up by traditional scans. Because it's that powerful, it can pick up. And that is a very important property. And some of the medical effects are due to this property. So, we say that everything has a frequency, our cells also have a frequency. Okay? Uh, uh, you all have hear stories of how Qigong is able to heal, right? You have qi or energy in your body that Qigong picks up. All you need to do is slightly bend your knee and you hold your hand facing each other. You can feel the energy. It is real. So that's why there's a lot of uh, things going on in what they call energy medicine. So this energy, this resonance, uh, can be picked up by terrorist waves. Okay? And of course, it's not just the Chinese who found it, but they call it chakra and different uh, cultures call it by a different name, isn't it? So because it resonates, because the frequency of terrorist frequency and the cell frequency is about the same, the cell frequency occupies the lower frequency around there. So that it can vibrate in, se in sequence and therefore there will be effects due to this property. Uh, our terahertz ma machine has a history. This was as early as two, uh, 2015, thereabouts, May 2015. The earliest cost so much. Those were the early days. Uh. I was playing with what it was quite a big machine, a huge computer thing. You know. mm -hmm. Cost what uh, two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so that's how expensive it can be. The latest is this. So our our Terra Care make use of optical quartz technology. That means quartz crystal. We shine ultraviolet ray on it, and then it's split in such a way that you produce terahertz waves. The many ways of producing it, uh, the technique of doing it is another branch of study by itself. Uh, how to get it to that, the range that you want is a matter of the, the amount of energy and a lot of regulatory processes going on. Okay, So that's to do with engineering. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not qualified to speak on that. So. I'm going to speak on the medical aspect. Medical aspect, there are two aspects. One is for detection of diseases, what they call uh, scanning diagnostic. So a lot of places now use this to scan your body to detect illnesses, especially cancers. It's non-invasive and it can pick up cancers. I'm focusing mostly on the therapeutic aspect. If you look at the medical literature, if you have the means to do so, you find that most of the research was on the diagnostic aspect. They use this for diagnostic. And it's very, very powerful in there. Yeah. But I'm focusing on the therapy aspect, how it can be used to heal, because that's what this product is for. Right? And it does activate and repair, repair cells, it clears the meridians, it detoxifies the lymphatic system, remove auto-detection, 
these three properties are similar. You kind of open up channels and allow whatever it is to flow through. The same with the uh, blood microcirculation, which I will talk about. So these are various means of achieving the same end. Acupuncture can do that. Huh? If you have done acupuncture, you know what is it like. Uh, massage is another way of stimulating the circulation. It can be very effective. Cupping quasha are techniques that I don't have much experience of. So, the important thing about terror care in producing terrorhertz wave is that it is safe, it penetrates. It penetrates because of insulators. Many aspects of your body don't exactly conduct electricity, like bones for instance. So it can penetrate right through. And it's able to identify, activate. And most of all, it's user friendly. You don't need to be trained to do it, you just be shown how to blow it and it works for you. So these are all the certification of China. By the way, China is one of the centers for regenerative medicine. You know what's regenerative medicine? Anti-aging medicine. Anti-aging medicine has two aspects. One is repair, the other is regenerate. And terahertz waves are able to do that. And China is one of the leading uh, centers. Russia and Europe and parts of America also are in the, uh, in the forefront of this field. The machine I was using eight, nine years ago was from uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, that, that, that part. Yeah. So uh, that's where it is. So, the terahertz wave is able to penetrate uh, because of the fact that it is not absorbed unless it's by water. So unless the water content is very high, you will penetrate it right through. It is also, the pen penetration is also proportional to the frequency. Uh, so the higher the frequency, the less penetrating it is. So by the time the frequency go higher and higher until you reach infrared, rate, it doesn't penetrate anymore. So that's why it's important to realize that. And that's why this machine, a lot of research has gone into this machine. Okay? Identification. So, it can identify normal cells or abnormal cells from cells of your body, from uh, stranger cells like viruses, uh, bacteria and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, it can expel uh, liquefied cells. I will get, later on I have some notes on it. Cells that are abnormal, it kills them. It causes the cell to self-destruct. It's called a process called apoptosis. Okay? And the effect if if there are if there are vessels, vessels usually have liquid, isn't it? Blood, lymphatic fluid, or whatever. So lymphatic fluid, blood, and all that absorb the energy of the terahertz waves. And when they absorb the energy, there be a slight, slight raise, very slight raise in temperature, less than one degree. And because of that rise in temperature, it opens up, and that's why it unblocks a lot of your channels. Okay, so this is what is able to do, it activates cells. So there are three levels of activation. Inside the cell, the proteins get activated. If you shine it on albumin, you find that the albumin, uh, the egg white, the, the shape changes, the shape on the molecule changes. Okay. Okay, but first you have to unlock your device. <laughs> <laughs> it can also activate DNA and it can activate cells so cells can multiply in fact uh, uh, shining of the terahertz wave can cause cell to multiply a process called mitosis okay and of course it can uh, uh, activate 
whole organs, the glands for instance, will secrete the hormones that are supposed to secrete when you shine on it. So this is an amazing thing, isn't it? An amazing device. You, you cannot come across something that's so wonderful that can do so many things. So it is very easy to operate. Anybody can use it and that's the beauty of it. So it can eliminate unhealthy cells. Why? Because sterilized frequency is the same frequency as your normal cell. And the energy will eliminate all abnormal cells. I will show you later how uh, terahertz waves can actually kill your cancer cells if you have cancer cells in your body uh, through a very amazing technique. Activate inner cells. Cells, when they absorb the energy, they increase in temperature and dorm dormant cells, cells that are not active. As you get older, some of your cells become dormant and if you keep on don't activating it, it may die off. No use, isn't it? So the cell will actually automatically go into uh, uh, self-destruct, no? as I explained to you earlier. So, so when, when you shine this on, you find that it changes. And that's why, you know, like for example, people have found that it makes the hair grow. No? Uh, it, it stimulates the uh, changes in the skin uh, and so forth. Self-healing. So, but because of all these things, uh, uh, on the effects on the DNA and all that, uh, it stimulates your cell to grow. And therefore, self-healing. Uh, and this is what we mean when, when, I, when I say that terahertz has an anti-aging effect. There are many anti-aging effects I will point out to you later on in the slides to follow. Okay? So the next few slides are all my own as a result of my study. They are taken from many research papers, many of whom are very recent. One paper that I just looked at was only two months ago. That's how recent it is. These are all very new research. And I note that a lot of this research come from China. Chinese authors, Chinese institutions, a few from Russia. Yes, there were some from Israel, from uh, US and other places. But predominantly, the bulk of it is from China. And China is in the forefront of research. And when you look at this technology, this technology is also the technology in 6G. Eh? China is in the forefront of 6G. So, and this is something I feel because Chinese scientists have been interested in all this technology and this thing have come on and China has invested a lot in the scientific research. So in 2017, in the US, there are patients with dementia. Eh? They did a trial and patients improved. The most important improvement they found was in memory. Wow. For those of you who are forgetful, this is one way you can do to allow your memory to recover. And the mood improved. You, you find that demented patients or old people get very grumpy, right? That's one of the effects. So you can blow on the head, isn't it? Yes, you can blow on the head, but you also blow on the meridians, especially the spine. Yeah. In Tokyo, they showed that amyloid protein is broken down. Why is amyloid protein so important? Amyloid protein is a protein that causes dementia. So a lot of scientists are researching how to cure dementia. And one of the ways to do it, if you can find some way to cause the amyloid to be broken down, you can break it. Better still, prevent it from forming. How do you prevent it from forming? By blocking an enzyme called choline esterase inhibitor. Huh? Ace. When you block this inhibitor, 
this enzyme choline acetylase, you allow acetylcholine as acetylcholine to accumulate, and acetylcholine will get will not uh, uh, will prevent your amyloid protein from being formed. Right, so that's important, isn't it? So that's why a lot of people recommend you eat brain tonic. You find that a lot of them have this acetylcholine inside to prevent your dementia. But if you don't use your brain, then it's no use uh, because your acetylcholine simply will make your urine very rich, but your brain very poor. <laughs> okay. So there's a. On dementia, on stroke patients, stroke patients often end up with dementia because of the damage to the brain tissue. Stroke patients, they found people with acute stroke going on, blood oxygen volume increase, they regain consciousness faster, symptoms improve. Okay, so this is due to the effect of various other biochemical processes that are going on. And I'll explain to them in some of the future slides. But this is helping to understand that in the nervous system, which is very critical, we're able to do so. Next, we look on the heart. If you have seen some of the testimonial testimonies on videos, you see that some people with heart disease appear to improve. Real or blood one. <laughs> I will show you whether it's real or blood. Number one. It decreases the platelets. Platelets are the reason why clot forms. And in fact, I'm a heart patient myself. I can tell you, every day I take an antiplatelet agent. An antiplatelet agent causes your blood to be very thin, causes your blood not to clot at all, and so prevent heart disease. I remember many years ago, I have a patient. An uh, English woman who married a local Chinese. So one day she needs to go for dental operation. And she asked me whether she can stop her anti platelet agent. I said, Well, there is a risk. I said, You should consult your cardiologist. So I don't know whether she consult her cardiologist or not. But the typical thing is I have been for by gallbladder operation and things like that. When you want to take off your anti platelet agent, you take it off for five days. When you take it for five days, it's no longer active, your blood clot normally, you can go for your operation and nothing will happen. That means when a surgeon by mistake cuts something, your blood will clot and protect itself. With the anti platelet agent active, CB chunk as well. Can you see? be like Wolverine? No clotting. Any cut means you bleed until you die. Once you say I, one week before they tell you to stop. Five days. Five days. Yes. Five days. The Yankee agent will be like Wolverine, aspirin, all these things, right? No, 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 no. Aspirin, yes. yes. Aspirin, yes. aspirin and Wolverine, yes. Heparin, Heparin, yeah. Huh? Flavix, things like that. I remember once I dropped something on my toe, so heavy that my nail came out and yes. it was bleeding very bad. Bleeding, never stop. So they have to use pressure dressing. So after three days, the clotting mechanism comes back within clot. It was able to be healed. So I imagine myself, you ride on an aeroplane, I got an accident, I can beat to death, you know? <laughs> so that's the platelets, anti platelet agents save you from a heart attack, but it can cause you to bleed to death from unnecessary causes. Mm -hmm. So it decreases platelet clotting, decreases the platelet count. And the tendency also by acting on something called thrombocytes, which you don't need to know. Yeah. The other thing is it increases nitric oxide. You may not heard of it, but I'm sure all of you have heard of Vigram. Right. <laughs> you know why Vigram is important here? Vigram helps us to understand the importance of nitric oxide. One of the action, the most important action of Vigram is to increase the amount of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide open up the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Actually, nitric oxide is found all over your body. Zinc. It's basically, zinc, right? Yeah. Zinc. Zinc? Mm -hmm. No, nothing to do with zinc. Zinc is supposed to be a pretty set. People take it. It's supposed to have some effect on it. 
I, I'm not very clear on, on zinc, but I'm very clear on nitric oxide. <laughs> it's uh, an enzyme called nitric oxide synthetase. But because nitric oxide can open up your vessels, do you know in diabetes they use Viagra to open up the blood vessels? In heart patients, you open up the blood vessels. And this is another action in the heart. You see? Uh, when Viagra first came out, they say, oh, heart patients cannot take. And they were afraid that something would happen. Then they say, yeah, you can take. <laughs> So this is very important. In fact, one of the reasons why, uh, uh, one of the earliest slides that I saw, a uh, promotional material about terahertz, was some, they put down, it has a lot of effects, and the last one they put, uh, improve erectile dysfunction. I said, hey, <laughs> that's interesting. And at that time, I didn't know about all these things. But later on, as I began to understand this, I realized that this is the effect, the same effect. And in fact, the, the chemical Viagra was in originally uh, uh, invented as a high blood pressure medicine, uh, if you know the history. Then there's a decrease in inflammatory enzymes. Now, there, there are many, many inflammatory enzymes and proteins, uh, ANF anti-nucleic factor, uh, cytokines, if you've heard of this term. Uh, interleukin, 1, 2, 3, 4, alpha, and all that. There are many of them. Now, these inflammatory factors are very important. They save your life. If you have an infection or you have an injury, they create a, a, a inflammatory response which uh, promotes healing, promotes recovery, and promotes your, your, your body to create a barrier between it and the outside world. Uh, so, any foreign body is kind of excluded, hopefully, by your body's mechanism. But inflammatory enzymes also cause you problems. In fact, it is now believed that almost all, a lot of illnesses are due to inflammation. Heart disease, diabetes, everything, you name it, inflammation is involved. You see? Either inflammation or infection, or both. So, Terror has been able to reduce this. So you find that all these things act together, increase blood flow, your heart attack resolve. That's the marvel of terahertz waves. So at one time we couldn't study terahertz wave because it's neither in electronics nor in under uh, light. Huh? Now we can because of technology. How about depression? I, I, I come from a mental health background, and so this is of interest to me. Uh, this paper came out about very recent. Uh, they use animal studies. Now, one way to study the effect of uh, uh, mental health symptoms is to look at animal models. In other words, anxiety in animal presented a certain behavior, depression, certain behavior, and so forth. Uh, you want to look at mental health, let's say schizophrenia, you also use similar techniques. So these are very advanced techniques of studying mental health symptoms. Sorry? Sorry? Yeah? In front of you, for this, where shall we blow the blower to? Eh? Where shall we blow the blower at? If we want uh, to? As for any nervous uh, uh, thing, <laughs> nervous as in stroke, Parkinsonism and all that similar. That means head, uh, as well as all the meridians, uh, and uh, the spine. Uh. Okay. So, restoration of uh, this. This is one of the recent paper. I think this was in January this year. Very recent. Uh. So there's decrease in anxiety behavior, decrease in depressive behavior, increase in social interaction. Right. But the authors also note that the frequency is very important. If you use the wrong frequency, it actually makes it worse. So fortunately, this is well tuned. Actually, I don't know. This is a trade secret. What frequency they're using? <laughs> if I know, I, I can tell you more. 
But I believe they have done a lot of research to get the right frequency. And I don't read Chinese, so I can't access uh, Chinese papers. Maybe there are more information out there. I do not know. But a lot of their papers are published in Western journals. So that's how I know. So it has a positive effect. And certainly, my brother who used iCare okay, has an increase in mood. Uh, as well as improving in insomnia. So, more to this, some more to come. Mm -hmm. Endocrine glands. Mm -hmm. Now, your body is able to have antioxidant activities. You don't need to take tablets just to have antioxidants. That's because every time you make use of oxygen, you need oxygen to be alive, right? But each time you burn an oxygen molecule, you create a reactive oxygen species, or ROS for short. Oxygen is full of energy, full of vitality. It gives you life, it makes you alive, but it also gives you ROS which can kill you. Mm. Too much of it. So your body must have mechanism to get rid of all this oxid oxidants, right? And this is one enzyme that does it for you in the body. Now if you don't have this kind of enzymes, you end up with all kinds of degenerating disease. Huh? ARS, have you heard? Nervous degenerative. Amyotropic. Uh, <coughs> I forgot the full name, but it's ALS. Huh? Due to lack of such enzymes. So you need all these antioxidant enzymes, and they become more potent when you shine uh, terahertz waves on it. And of course, we already. I uh, told you about nitric oxide synthetase, right? Increasing growth factors. So, uh, in your brain, everywhere in the body are growth factors. Uh, the most famous one is what is known as BDNF or brain derived growth factor. Uh, so, these growth factors are important because they are the ones that repair, they are the ones that cause you to develop in the way you develop. When you're a child, small, growing up, right? It's the growth factors that determine. The DNA that we have is very similar to those of birds and other animals. The DNA is very similar. Then how come you develop the human being and not an animal mm -hmm. or a bird? Because the way DNA works is that a gene is expressed in many ways. So the gene can cause you to express a finger, six fingers, anything. So how does the body know by all these growth factors? So growth factors can be switched on and switched off. So for my field, in neuropsychiatry, I can tell you, autism is what is called an epigenetic disorder. That is to say that autism is caused because some switches are not switched on and some switches are not switched off. So imagine if a, 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 a DNA that have this trajectory, you need one to switch it on, one to switch it off, right? To, to regulate the one that switch on and switch off, you need another two genes to do that. To regulate the one that is switched off, you need another two to do that. And over time, you have a very, very complex interlocking system regulating one another. So that's how our body works. Right? So when there's an increase in growth factors, when there are more growth factors, then there are inflammatory proteins and inflammatory factors, what happens? There is growth. You see? Our body is marvelous. Huh? Huh? Increased secretion of endocrine hormones. Melatonin. This is subcellular <coughs> melatonin. You all heard of melatonin, right? You take it for what? Sleeping. Sleeping, and most likely you take it for jet lag, isn't it? Huh? Now, melatonin for sleeping is produced by a pineal gland, a small little gland in the middle of the brain, you know, between your ears there. You know? But melatonin is also produced in the cell. Within the cell, there's something called mitochondria, right? 
It's produced by the mitochondria. So this is uh, called subcellular melatonin. And why is it produced there? Not to make yourself sleep. It's a very potent antioxidant. Much more potent than glutathione, which people take when they have uh, mm -hmm. par 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 paracetamol poisoning, isn't it? So it is very potent and it can do a lot of things. It can do this, increase your growth factor and decrease your inflammatory proteins. It can do that. So because of that, by increasing the secretion of hormones such as melatonin, which is a very powerful antioxidant, you can see the effect of terrorist waves. Yeah. How does it selectively increase secretion of? What's so, your question? Uh, it generally increases secretion of endocrine yeah, yeah, yeah. hormones. Yeah. Example, melatonin. Yeah. Or other mm. hormones, mm. thyroid. Uh, uh, all the endocrine. All the endocrine hormones. So yeah. energy does that. Yeah, energy. Are you saying that our blood will also do this? Yes, it will. That's why you have testimonies of people saying so. It's still good. Eh? It's not a placebo effect. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so cancer cells. Now cancer cells absorb terrorist wave differently. So if you want to that, in fact, this property is used in the diagnosis of cancer using terrorist waves. This is very important. This is accepted medical practice. This is not alternative medicine or anything. This is mainstream medicine as practice. It disrupts cancer cell proteins. It can disrupt the proteins. It can disrupt the DNA even. Now, this metallization is a mutation that causes a cell to be cancerous. And one of the most exciting discovery in recent years, these are all very recent, last few years or so, is that terahertz wave can disrupt this metal group attached to the DNA, and by demetallizing it, the cancer cell dies. Wow. You know, just about months ago, there is this very potent anti-cancer drug that can treat all cancers. Do you know that? The news. Huh? You yeah. heard the news, right? So, isn't it amazing? Now we have so many techniques of actually attacking the cancer cells. So this demetallization is very important for the treatment of cancer. And certainly if, if you have a cancer that is not growing too fast, this is one way to do it. So, what cancers have been studied? Prostate, breast, skin, lung, and stomach cancers. I don't know what kind of cancers you have. Maybe yours may be affected, maybe not. But no harm trying, isn't it? <laughs> if you have it. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you blow it, you know, cancer starts by one cell, then they become two, then become four, then become eight, become 16, 32, 64, 1 to 8, double. Go along. What so, I understand is uh, we all have cancer cells. All of you have. All being controlled. But it's being controlled by your own body. Right. And your own body will initiate uh, so one, one, monocytes. Uh, monocytes can destroy cancer cells when they discover it. You see? Your body can do it. But sometimes it got overwhelmed mm -hmm. for various reasons. Okay? And that's how cancer develops. Or it escapes. Huh? And it depends it's on the type of right. cancer. Some cancers actually feed on vitamins. Huh? Do you know that some cancers feed on folate? Huh? Yes. Folate yes. So you actually give folate, you actually cause the cancer to grow. You see? So cancer is, is not one illness, it's several illness, several types of illness. All cancers are not the same. But they have some similarities, and the similarity is the mutation caused by metallation. Okay? On osteoarthritis. Now, uh, people have used all kinds of infrared uh, radiation for osteoarthritis. Compared with uh, near infrared 
terahertz being a far infrared radiation is non-luminous, so the penetrance is higher. It can penetrate better. Uh, it's mostly used in imaging. A study some years back found that in post-op recovery, uh, auto orthopedic surgery, pain is significantly reduced. It reduces pain, possibly by reducing all the inflammatory proteins and healing is exaggerated. And I say decrease in inflammatory proteins and increase in growth factors. It has been shown that it decreases muscle spasm. So a lot of bone problems are actually musculoskeletal. Huh? Note that. Uh, my wife has a lot of orthopedic problems and when she complained, I figured out that a lot of it is due to a reactive muscle spasm. That means the body reacts by causing a spasm of the muscle to protect your bone. Right? You must have this. Because otherwise, your all your joints will break down very soon. If your knee joint and all your hip joints rub against one another, what happens? They will wear out. So you protect yourself by all the cartilages that you have, by the muscle that kind of act as a buffer, right? By the shock absorbers. If your car don't have shock absorbers, you know what it feels like. <laughs> huh? So that's exactly the function of muscles around bones and so forth. So by relaxing the muscle, the muscle become more effective. Okay, it's not tight. And if you go to a massage therapist or whatever, you will find that the first thing they can notice is that your muscles are tight, and that's why sometimes they have a lot of ache and pains and all that. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. So, that's what it does. And certainly, it also, you must also understand that in, in, the, in arthritis, especially in the milder form, severe arthritis, I don't know how you can, whether you will work or not. <laughs> I have no experience in it, I can't tell you. But if in mild arthritis, uh, there is uh, oscillating effect. There are cells that actually dissolve bones. So I believe some of the destiny of bony deformities that go away with terahertz radiation probably due to this. Uh, there are also miscellaneous uh, uh, thing that we talk about. COVID-19. I got interested because uh, last year I found a few papers on COVID therapy came out, uh, but this was using near infrared, uh, near infrared waves that were effective in the treatment for COVID. Uh, now this is very important because if uh, blowing it with the uh, infrared waves can treat it, a physiotherapist can help you to do it. You know? And certainly, we have videos of people blowing with terahertz wave, which is far infrared, just as effective as near infrared. And I would believe because of the high penetrance of far infrared, terahertz wave is much more effective. So here we can put cancer treatment center, huh? Yeah. We can put data at cancer treatment center. Yeah, no, here. We cannot see it. <laughs> well, joking, <I'm> joking. <laughs> I think for for mainstream doctors, this is still in the experimental stage. Yeah. <laughs> so on the skin, uh, a very important thing uh, is stimulate the production of collagen. How many of you going to plastic surgeons and all that and ask for injection to? To inject what? Fillers, right? The collagen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the effect you are looking for. Natural. Na natural. So, the effect is that it actually causes the skin to tighten. That's a beauty effect. But because most time you want this effect to be on your face, uh, you can't blow it with it with the energy. So they recommend you the lower setting to blow. But it has this effect. You see? 
the heat is more in the blood. Yeah? Blood is mostly liquid, uh, water, polar, conductor. That's why it absorbs. Insulators will not absorb terrorists. So as a, anything they don't conduct electricity is an insulator. They don't absorb terrorists. They don't absorb. Then skin? Skin, some parts, some layers of the skin have more water than other skin. Ah, anything with water will absorb. So our skin needs to be moist to absorb the terrorists. Water. No, there's already natural water. <laughs> yeah. You are seventy percent water. Some yeah. tissue have lesser. Uh, I think. No, some people water very little. You test more water, so not no, no water also can less effective lah. Less effective, yeah. but you be advised to drink, drink yeah. to drink and to to do those things that allow your body to hydrate. You must also understand that hydration also depends on a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's not just drinking so much water. Yeah. You must also be able to retain the water. Okay? How to retain? So it's very good for water retention. It needs to help to get away. Water retention is due to the fact that the fluid is not flowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different thing altogether. Yeah, yeah. You want the fluid to flow. Yeah, yeah. It's not flowing. Terrahose wave cause the fluid to flow. You see? Retain. Actually. So that the, the water retention recedes and it's no longer there. But we're talking about different things now, we're talking about the effect on the skin. Yeah. So water is a conductor, right? It's a conductor. Not insulator, is it insulator? No. Okay. Water is a conductor. If you are aware, you will have to explain it. It's a good conductor. Uh, it's a conductor. That's why we have terrorized water. You see? So, uh, the other thing is, you all heard of telomeres? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You've heard, huh? You've the tail of the, the cell. Tail, yeah. tail of the, the chromosome. The oh, okay. tail of the chromosome. As you age, your telomere dies shorter, shorter and shorter yeah. and shorter. Okay. And when telomere is gone, the cell dies. So, how to increase your telomere? Fast. Those of you who are Muslim, fast. <laughs> One month in a year. Fast can increase telomere. Yes. Fasting can increase telomeres. That's not inter uh, intermittent fasting is good. <laughs> intermittent fasting. Fast once a day, uh, once a week or twice a week. Six, skip a meal or whatever. It increases telomeres. Another way of increasing telomeres is to the terrorists. <laughs> yeah. So this is what is known as the anti-aging effects of Wait, right? But water, water, water. You should have water, no matter how dry you are, you still have water. So it's to ensure that your 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 skin become more normal uh, by taking an adequate diet, right? Taking adequate fibers and things like that. Uh, allow your skin to repair. Change in DNA expression, what does it mean? We ex I explained just now that your DNA has to be switched on, right? So if it's not switched on, it's not expressed. So it, when you express, and that's what I noticed that a lot of, that in some aspects, some parts of my body appear to be younger. Uh, some secretions that I used to have in younger days have gone. Now they're coming back after I blow, right? So coming after you, oh, I see, I see. So it's it's the DNA expression. Switches it on, and apoptosis. Apoptosis, as I explained just now, is when self Self-destruct. self self, self destruct. Self destruct. Uh, they commit suicide, so to speak, when uh, they are damaged or of no use anymore. Okay. So these are miscellaneous effects. Ah, so this from China. They talk about meridians, and we we say just now that uh, meridians are energy points. Okay. So terahertz is able to unblock it, and uh, the Chinese scientists say that the effect on the stroke is like the effect on the meridian here on top of the head, which is used for the brain. 
Micro circulation. Ah, this is one thing which. Sorry, can I take back just one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so this microcirculation is very important because in a lot of instances skin and a lot of uh, hyperpigmentation of the of the skin due to various illnesses are caused by problems of the microcirculation. So terahertz is able to improve how direct direct means the heat is spent because of the microcirculation you have retention inside right so it retains uh, the heat because it's a conductor and when it retains the heat what happens it warms up circulation improve but also other things are working yeah? resistance is reduced a lot of other factors also come in that I talked about in earlier slides right yeah? flow is increased by nitric oxide and a lot of other uh, inflammatory factors which are reduced when you reduce the inflammatory factors what happens inflammatory factors cause fluid retention isn't it as an inflammatory response. Mm. So when you reduce that, what happens? You reduce the inflammatory response. So what happens? The fluid will go away. So it's a lot of mechanisms involved. Huh? And that's how microcirculation got improved. You see? Understand? So we have mentioned this already. It regulates endocrine glands and protect our organs. So, water retention is very important, especially when your heart pump. Your heart is a pump, isn't it? It pumps water throughout your body. So when you have heart failure, or you have lung failure, what happens is that there is uh, water retention, and when there is water retention, there is pain, uh, a, a lot of things, and you can't walk properly because all the joints are all affected. So, terrorist wave, as I explained in the previous slides, okay, dissolve, inflammation reduced, water disappears, and you recover. You need to go to the toilet more often, uh, discharge the water. Ah, you, First of all, the water balance in, in, in these conditions are abnormal, you see. Fortunately, you see, uh, if you treat a heart patient, you need to give medication to the heart to pump. Mm -hmm. huh? And when you pump, when water retention is improved, you need to get rid of the fluid, or else you'll be overloaded with fluid. Mm -hmm. So, heart doctors, heart specialists usually give you medicine that allow you to go and urinate as much as you can. That allows you to get rid of all the water in the body. Mm -hmm. So terahertz wave have all these properties. It can deal with your abnormal heart. Mm -hmm. It can deal with the retention there locally, the inflammation. So it's a total treatment. Of course, if you want better effect, the medication prescribed by your cardiologist is very important because it's effective, it's chemical. No? This terahertz wave can work fast, but depending on your personal situation, how much, how often you blow and how much you blow, so it is a bit variable, you see? So, but it's a complete treatment in the sense that both in the periphery, in the, in the water retention, in the lower limbs and in the heart, it is active. Also drinking the charged water would also help? Huh? Drinking the charged water? Yeah, of course. Also help in removing excess moisture? Uh, not so much, uh, but to facilitate the circulation. Okay? So, it is 
not suitable in acute inflammation. Acute inflammation, you've got to deal with it. Huh? Uh, certain pains, you should not deal with it. Ah, uh, this I'm not. I would think, I would think that pain it helps her. I don't know, this is the company size. Yeah. Suitable. 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 In fact, for insomnia is very suitable. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So, the what is not the blockages? Is that infrared or <laughs> Blockages? Blockages, there are two effects. One is the, the heat has an effect. Yeah. And the non heat expect when it activates chemicals and you know, uh, blocks mm -hmm. certain chemicals in your body. So there are two effects there. And it's, very, it's, known, it's known that the effects of terahertz waves, there are two aspects to it. When you have water there, especially through the blood and so on, there's the heat expect. But the temperature rise is very small. Me, it costs my body to Very little, less than one degree. Oh, less than one degree. Despite having the thing, it still doesn't increase my mm -hmm. temperature. Lah. Like no fever. <laughs> but no. you sweat, lah. you mean you sweat. Lah. No, I don't, I don't sweat when I blow. Do you? Yeah, I sweat. You sweat? Yeah, I don't. So that's also yeah. discharging. Because you do an aircon room. No, mm -hmm. I don't use aircon room. <laughs> You're supposed to. Not supposed to put it in a warm area. Yeah. Now, there, there's because a recent, are open, so you there is a recent paper that say that uh, for heart implant, huh, they found no effect. It just got reflected off. You mean you got an implant, you do the blood test, it won't have an effect. Yeah, it won't have an effect. But I thought they say really, the pacemaker, you shouldn't You shouldn't use it. That's right. That's the official government. Uh, uh, Official, uh, of official yeah. company policy. But, but, but that's what the paper says. I'm, I'm just quoting the paper. Okay. The paper say it will work. It just got reflected off. Oh. It's just that when you shine light on something, you get reflected off. Oh. A a paper elsewhere. Have you have you microwave a yeah. metallic container? Cannot microwave. Cannot. It will, it will burn. It will fire. No. What container? I I'm a scientist. I tried. <laughs> Nothing happened. Except that mm. at a certain point there are sparks. Yeah, sparks. sparks when there's something flammable. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So if you put a metal container and microwave and you switch it on, yeah. it won't get hot. No? It just even cool. No, it gets uh, hot. You will get hot. You no, get no, hot. no, no, food inside, nothing. Yeah, you get hot. You get hot. Because it's a conductor. Mm. It's a conductor. Like water is a conductor. Water gets hot. Just the principle of microwave, but it's very safe according to research papers. It's a heat transfer. Yeah, they say that, uh, but you know it's not safe. <laughs> How is it not safe? Because microwave burn without fire and you use. Uh, How does it burn? Oh, I don't know. I'm not using aluminum foil. Okay, terahertz waves, terahertz wave is next to microwave. Yeah. It shares okay. the properties of microwave. Uh -huh. It penetrate, microwave penetrate. It agitates the molecules, microwave agitates the molecules. But terahertz is a very low energy. But with microwave, when you agitate the water molecules, it agitates to such an extent that when you agitate the molecule weapon, it's like boiling. Yeah, yeah, boiling. So it's an agitation. Yeah, yeah. It's an energy from the waves, the agitation, the frequency yeah. that cause it to boil. Yeah. See? Nothing else. Yeah. So because it's, it's lower it's energy of frequency, sorry, uh, so it doesn't have the bad effects of the microwave, it does. Uh, so far, people have microwave have been around more than 20, 20, 30. No, there are so many papers that are telling you, like, you avoid microwave ionizing. No. Huh? It just actually take the water molecule. Oh, just what ions are. No. The ionizing is the other side of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic like X rays and all that. Oh no, this side. Oh, this side. Oh, no ionizing. No. It's just agitation. Yes. Oh, neither is it negative or positive, ah? 
No. No, la, no, no, not no. So, but then for cancer, they still say uh, yeah, avoid microwave. microwave. Yes, but so far there's no evidence. No evidence. Mm -hmm. You just say. La. You just say. Mm. I look for evidence. Mm. Huh? So, you want to be on the safe side, stick to what is commonly believed. Yeah. I'm a scientist, I look for evidence. Mm. So is it safe to eat microwave food? Yes. I avoid because I thought microwave food is not good in the normal standard According of cooking. To the famous chef who come to Singapore and cook some things on what's his name, I don't know. Jamie hey, Oliver. Yeah. Whatever. A more chef, you know, uh, famous uh, chef, you know. Uh, they say that microwave cooking is unnatural, it doesn't bring out the flavors. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's they true. are right. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. So he doesn't want the restaurants to help to uh, get back their, their business to use microwave yeah. because it doesn't do justice to their customers. Okay, that's his belief. But I am a busy professional. I use microwave. At first, I don't use it. They say it's so convenient. And after reading the evidence, it's pretty safe. Then I read, oh, metal you can't use. So I was scientist. So why not? So be very safe. But go far, far away. <laughs> and I found nothing happens. Yeah, you get heat up. Because when carolers hit a conductor of electricity, it releases electrons. It conducts. It is electron. Then how about the microwave? Microwave, it will also. Same properties. Electron. Yes. But that's about it. So unless you have a conductor next to it to draw away the electrons, then a spark can occur. The spark is because of the electron flow. You understand? So like if you have a live wire, you, uh, you, you do a plug, remove a spark plug and there's a live wire, there's a lot of electricity concentrated at the tip, right? You touch another metal wire, you see a spark. That's all it does. I read somewhere about this agitation of the molecules and they'll form mutation. Mutate what? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the microwave convert the food into not uh, suitable for human. Yeah, the whole idea of microwaves is it comes from the alternative, the natural part. Like, but they are quite detached from the hidden base. So it's more like, you know, a few kind of things. We must see the evidence. <coughs> so far, people people have done experiments, they don't found no evidence. You see? So like in terrorists, they experiment with different frequencies. And they found with certain frequencies, for prolonged time, yes, you get a little bit. A little bit of uh, damage. Yes. Different frequency, not the frequency that we use here. Or other... Other frequencies. Mm. Terahertz is from 1 to 10 uh, micrometer. Uh, micro, micrometer, yeah. So it's a very wide range. We're using a very narrow range in the lower <coughs> end. You see? And I also mentioned just now, right? Uh, we regard one of the slides. Where I say it depends on the frequency, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? and the, fresh, it uh, the one on depressive symptoms, right? So different frequency will have different effects. So the frequency is also important. Mm. That's why terahertz wave and mm -hmm. near infrared are different because of the frequency difference. Near infrared is uh, in the range of the like first few slides. Slightly more, slightly more. Slightly more. Higher frequency, or higher frequency than terahertz. Yeah, closer mm. to infrared. Closer to, to the red spectrum. In, infrared, I'm sure you all know. Huh? Yeah, there are a lot of infrared density. products, like infrared mattress and uh -huh. infrared, all uh, yes. that, that have health benefits. Uh -huh. So it's different. The properties are different because of the difference in frequency. That's what you need to know. Uh -huh. So it's higher than terahertz uh, in frequency? Okay. Have I made you more confused? <laughs> so it is higher, it's also less effective than terrorists. Huh? Is it infrared or less effective than terrorists? No. 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 Uh, depends on what you're looking at. Uh, different things, uh, 
different considerations. Correct. So we cannot say infrared is less effective compared to therapy. Infrared is very effective in physiotherapy. Mm. Physiotherapists use it a lot. Infrared recently has been near infrared has been shown to be effective in COVID. Things like that. So it's effective in getting rid of infections and all that. So there are effectiveness. My my friend who used to be chairman of EDB London, he has infrared mattress which has kept him healthy for a long time. So there are health benefits. So you must look at specific things. You see, when it comes to science, we are very specific. Okay. Any other questions? So the question is, then why we use therapists for our and not infrared? Oh, you missed the earlier slide to explain why. It has to do with the frequency of the cells. So therapists is closer to our cell frequency. It's same. Ah, same, compared to infrared. Uh, infrared. Compared to other, mm -hmm. other, other oh, things. Oh, uh. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. That's, 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 that's why it works. Like, that's why we didn't use therapists. Uh. Okay. That's, why, that's why the company has chosen this particular frequency for this device. Mm -hmm. It's through a lot of research, as I said, Chinese, the Chinese are uh, in the forefront of this kind of research. Uh, in sort of security, telecommunication, 6G, and in health wise. Okay. So that's why even a lot of the papers that I quote are from China. Okay. So this paper, this whatever research is not found in the, uh, the West? Huh? Yes, it's in the West. I only read, I can't read Chinese. So all I found is in the Western journals. Okay. But the Chinese also publish in Western journals. Uh, I have met some of my colleagues when I go for conferences. But they are very good in Chinese. They, they may not speak good English sometimes, especially in the past. But they are very good, that I can tell you. So they publish in, in Western journals? Yeah, they publish in Western journals. Can we get those and read? Yes, you can. You must know how to look for them. Yeah, correct. Google, Google. Yeah. A lot of these journals are open access. That means anybody can access them. But you must know how to look for them. And you must... If they Google give you a listing of a few hundred thousand, then you must know which, which are more important. But if you try it for some time, you get the hang of it, then you can do it. And you can also subscribe to their uh, quite a few databases of scientific journals. Of, it never feels like if you're interested in music, I'm sure there's a database of all the music. So in, as far as medical science is concerned, there are databases that look at everything. Uh, so once I subscribe, I get a lot of notification. Oh, so and so has written a paper on this. So and so has written a paper on this. You know. It's too boring sometimes, <laughs> so I switch it off. So these are all available. They are not secret. Huh? It's not a cabal. That means only people with special knowledge can know it. Anybody with the interest and the temperament to learn about it can find out all that. Anything that I said here, you can find out for yourself. You see. Any other questions? No. Is that again? Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. that, that's about it. Uh, <coughs> oh, this this one, I, uh, this one I don't use, but uh, yeah. uh, not recommended. This one not recommended. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. This one I'm not very sure. Yeah. <coughs> oh, this one uh, maybe. The implants. Uh -huh. My my research seems to indicate that it may be. Don't go me. Eh? I'm putting the papers. Uh -huh. <laughs> We may be safe. Maybe depending on the type of material they use. Oh, yeah. But don't, don't, don't act on the leg that is in the front line. Like, throw the other leg, like, right? Throw on the good leg, like, uh, not on the portion that on the metal. Like, right? But the pacemaker in, in front is safe. It should be safe for other implants as well. That's my thinking. The pacemaker is safe, like, yes. because it's not metal. It's made of what? It's metal. It's metal. Oh, nice. I think they say go so far away from the... If, if your relative has an implant and they pass away, and you want to cremate them, what do they do? They remove the implant. They, you've got to inform them. It's metal. How oh, could they remove the implant? Yeah. Otherwise... They can't cremate. What? <laughs> it will explode. Metal, eh? Oh, in the fire will explode. 
Possible, possible. Just like in the microwave, you, because the build up of electricity, it can has sparks. Oh, it's more than a kilometer. So that's as far as I know. But in the firewood, no problem. <laughs> The congenital heart disease. Congenital heart, heart and disease. structural abnormalities due uh -huh. either uh -huh. to genetic, usually a genetic defect is involved. So it's very hard. Like to, those born uh, with a hole in the heart. Oh yeah, God. so they can be corrected by surgery. Uh, I know VT Joseph and uh, Roy, whatever, the, the fellow who took the final MB with me, they are. Pediatric surgeons, they do all this congenital heart repair. So, it can be done, uh, but uh, if you have to repair it by surgery, that is something the therapists can't do. That's for sure. Oh yeah, my father is very nice. He has a wife, the thing. Cannot close up. Yeah, they could close it. Ah, it doesn't close, so what remedy? They, they, I think mm -hmm. they have to put a patch there and they close it up. So he yeah, has this thing, whether it's born or come later. You are born with it. <laughs> you mean born with it? Or does it come later in life? Does there must be some defect which allows it to become. Uh, uh, without without cannot close. Yeah. 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 So either you are born with it or you come later in life. You mm. cannot close yeah, it. Yeah, because of some defect in the beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. In, this, in this case, this work thing, how happened? Since you cannot. You got to repair. Surgical repair. So you got to close it back, right? Mm. Go to a surgeon to do oh, that. My friend did that. It's very torturing. They have to put a lot of chemical to stop the heart. No and problem. put a lot of chemical to restart the heart. Yes. Then after mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. he got a lot of complications. Uh, yeah, suffering, a lot of suffering. Heart lung that has complications. I have seen enough heart lung surgery to know that, yes, you have a mechanical heart to take the place of the heart while you do the surgery yes. mm. and after you repair you let the yeah, human yeah. heart to take over from the mechanical mm -hmm. heart so a lot of work involved yes. a lot of doctors are involved cardiologists are involved yes. heart surgery is involved anesthetists involved everybody is involved yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I can tell yeah, yeah. very messy operation very, yeah, very, yeah. okay I, I have two stents so how that's, you that's okay I have seven stents <laughs> and you do it blow on your heart. Yeah. But they say it might, uh, it might overheat the stand and then the stand damage the vessels. I don't know. All I can tell you is unless your stand was inserted when Lee Kuan Yew inserted his stand. <laughs> I see the older one. The older one. Older ones, uh. All stands after that can be absorbed. In fact, I went for a coronary arthrogram uh, just two years back clear. They couldn't see anything because the stents have been absorbed by the heart. Huh? Oh. Ah. Means? No, they so have, no. they have, they have. Yes. They still use some metal thing also? No, 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 no. The stents are absorbable. Yeah. That means they use a material that oh. the, the yeah. thing yeah. absorbed. It's like, just yeah. like, yeah. Uh, yeah. when I was training as a doctor 40, 50 years ago, uh, they were stitching, right? You can use silk to stitch, yeah, yeah. then you got to remove the stitch. Yeah. You can also use cat gut to stitch. We don't need to remove, you can absorb the body. Yeah, it's called cat gut. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm not in that engineering, uh, biomedical engineering, so I can't tell you. Something the body can break down. Though. Yes. Some people have the acute diseases. Acute diseases, if you have an acute heart attack, this thing won't help you. Quickly go to it. Oh. There, get the stand or get something done. Huh? Mm -hmm. But if it's not acute, just chest pain and say you better get your stand done, yeah, you can try. But one one person in the video testimony said, you know, if the doctor say you gotta uh, get it done, uh, you know, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, say, he how, 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 how long can I survive without the surgery? He said, maybe a few months. Okay, let me take a few months and he blow. Yeah. And then after they thought everything clear up. No, it yeah, I explained later. Yeah, the platelets is to do with the platelets. Okay. Uh, oh, the blood platelets. Yes. Have improved the flow. The, 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 the blood platelets cause the clot. So if you remove it, okay, and then you need to thin out the clot. So this uh, mm. uh, uh, the elimination helps. process mm. helps. Mm. Oh, viscosity of the uh, blood cells huh? become reduced. The viscosity of the blood. Yeah 
is minima has been reduced with dinner. Yeah. That's the, that's the whole process, how the thing process like. Now, how about vav? Instead of stem, how about vav? Vav. Oh. Vavs, uh, what yeah. about vavs? Yeah, there are vav. Yeah, no, there are some been uh, yeah, changed or been uh, put a vav there. So, would that be alright to go? Because some. You know, some. You're yeah, talking about valvoplasty, is it? Oh, Where right. they Those put an artificial valve. Artificial valve, like. Right. Uh, might be from pig or from uh, cow or, you know, the plastic oh, type, uh, from animal valve. Is that your right? Uh, okay, uh, speaking in general terms, uh, yeah. genetically, the closest to us uh, pig. are pigs. Yeah. The closest to us. That's what they do. So, so, this, this or yeah, or yeah. so if there is compatibility, then it should work like, mm. technically. Huh? And if you stitch it, if all the muscles are, are attached to the right places, and now I think they have this technique to do it. Huh? Now they do microsurgery, you know. And uh, I, I was one of the first to test run this. Uh, ultrasound scan where they put a sensor at the tip of the ultrasound and they put inside my heart so with the sensor they can just see the inside of my heart as it is you know Camera. yeah amazing mm -hmm. huh? what do you call that uh, it, it is uh, it's some sort of ultrasound it was in Maui they just got the machine and I, I happened to have some issues so they did it for me but right now they can do a lot of things using small micro catheters, yes. you know? mm. uh, micro surgery they call it, you know. Mm. And it's not a big thing now. I think in China I read about that already that you have that. Yeah. Uh, micro. So maybe I should have gone ca to cardiology. <laughs> 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 so, sorry, coming back to your uh, apoptosis, yeah? uh, apoptosis, where your MK cell will kill the actual cells. Uh, okay, we are made up of about 70 trillion uh, cells in our body, the cellular cells. Yeah? Now, uh, each and every part of our tissue, from these cells become <coughs> tissue, tissue next become organ, organ that become every part of our body. Like even our skin, that's not mentioned, about 28 days, the apoptosis will take place. Now, this apoptosis, uh, uh, the, 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 the blowing thing is will help to regenerate our cell from the stem cell itself. Now this is part, there are three factors that contribute to regeneration of stem cells. Number one is the, uh, when apoptosis takes place, we need ATP, correct? And only is triphosphate. In order to help to regenerate, to give energy to these uh, generated uh, cells. Now, the third factor that needs to be contributed is the uh, nutrients. Are they helping out? Because the mitochondria that give them up uh, the, the so-called ATP uh, maybe helps to boost up the energy, but nutrients, where did it come from? Does it able to blow and give up I, the nutrients? You, you, have dealt, you obviously read a lot. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Basically, I want to point out to you that ATP is the energy molecule. Yep, from all mitochondria that can provide yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah, the, the, the actual energy molecule is acetyl coenzyme A, uh. Uh, which actually is the thing that gives you energy for all the processes to take place. Okay? The chemical reaction is very complex. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to do with some cycles which I, I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. I studied in my biochemistry days. You see? But the point about regeneration and repair, the same factors. Yeah. Is that stem cells are involved. Okay. There's, there's stem cells in all of us. Okay. Uh, there are enough stem cells that when you're injured uh, uh, to start the process of repair. How stem cells are triggered off is very simple. Whenever the body detects there is inflammation, your yeah. stem cells start to move in direction. Okay. Yeah. So if you are adequately well nourished, you have enough building blocks, proteins, uh, all, all kinds of proteins that are necessary, all kinds of things that are necessary, and then the growth factors. You must 
imagine that when, when I tell you about the inflammatory enzymes and inflammatory, inflammatory factors and the growth enzymes and all that, it's not one of them. Remember I said to you, for every DNA to switch on and off, you need at least two, two one to switch on, two. one to switch off. For each one switch on or switch off, you need another two to switch on and switch off. So finally, there are so many switches that all it become a matrix, you see. So the body is very well regulated. It's a system, you must understand. So unless you are very badly nourished, your systems function adequately for this thing to take place. Whenever there is a repair needed. Okay, there are some things in regenerate in, in let's say due to aging right? and that's why anti-aging is so important right? no? you have thyroid hormone you have the highest and the lowest and this is normal right? so all of us when we are 18, 17 or even younger we are in the high range because we need to grow no? as you get older it starts to drop 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 you get to the lower range okay? when you reach to the lower range what happens? You slow down. Slow down. Huh? That's why I'm quite happy. Uh. I, I'm 73, I still can run out the staircase. Right? Not many people past 70 can run out the staircase, right? So you want that normal function. So how do you get a normal function? You must bring your hormone up to at least midpoint, isn't it? And that's what anti-aging medicine do. So we don't just want enough stem cells for you to repair. We want more stem cells so that you can regenerate. But do our body have, especially when you're old, do our body have enough of those extra stem cells? You or can you just keep producing? You keep producing. Stem cells in the brain, for example, if not used, just die off. That's why our thyroid hurts is helping out to uh, produce more but stem cells. Yeah. You, you must use it. Lah. Yeah. Okay? I'm wearing my jacket, but if I have my jacket, I can show you. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why? Well, I go to the gym often. Yesterday, I went to the gym. Do all my weights. Wow. Do all my weights. When you do all your weights, then you keep your muscle there. When you keep your muscle there, your joints are all working properly. Not only that, but it keep you warm. It has all the benefits. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's what's anti-aging. Huh? So one way is so there are uh, what they call stem cell nutrition. You take capsules to increase your stem cells. The stem cell injection. People start, uh, have a lot of people, or even down, downstairs there are people selling that. Mm -hmm. uh, stem cell nutrition. Right? There's a stem cell injection you can buy from some doctors are doing it. But that's about one thousand dollars a month. Stem cell nutrition about three hundred dollars a month. It's one time payment four hundred and fifty. You get same benefits. Same you can do both. You have the means do both huh? But what I'm pointing out is this: there is a lot of technology now available. This is one of them. This is I can use the same technology to detect illness in you. I have the instrument for that. I can use this technology to help you recover from whatever you have and to improve your function. You pick and choose depending on your needs. Right? I can tell you what your needs are. So that's why they say how you blow depends on what you need. Isn't it? I can tell you that I, I, I have arthritis of my knee joints. You know how long I have my arthritis? from the time my daughter was born, 1984 until now. With so many years of arthritis, you expect me to be on a wheelchair. And the reason why I'm not on a wheelchair is because ever since I got the arthritis, when I got my first acute arthritic attack and I couldn't go to a conference in Abu Dhabi because of that, I could have cancelled the trip. I just said, no. <laughs> jump, jump, walk, exercise. So even though I have arthritis, I have overcome it. So it stimulates stem cell repair. You understand? Make sense? So 
you will see what is your needs. Huh? If you don't have heart disease, thank God you are wonderful. So as long as you are alive, you have some sense. Yeah. This one can increase the sense of condition. Yes, yes. That's right. You got it. Good news. <laughs> so now all of us are living longer, right? What will we die of? Accidents? <laughs> Things like COVID will kill you? Huh? Not the old problems. No. Not the old problems. <laughs> and cancers, are cancers. Cancers still can appear uh, from time to time. But this can also do some good for, for cancer patients. <laughs> yeah, this can do some good. Uh, you know. But there are always something abnormal coming up. Uh, uh. When your time is up. <laughs> yeah. And your spare part is expired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please buy it. I remember that uh, we we supposed to drink the glasses of water before so mm. that increase the conduction of the... Yeah, because it's a and conductor. And yes. also after that, to discharge the toxin. So for some of these uh, patients who are already bed bound and they are using mouth tip feeding, the control of the liquid, the water is quite uh, straight. So how do we overcome okay. that? If unless the patient has heart problems, that means or kidney problems, which means that there are issues of water balance, okay, and you need to check. I would think that from my experience in hospital medicine, that you can substitute. That means if the person is supposed to receive so many liters, you can substitute uh, with terrace water before and after for whatever that is, uh, the person needs. And sometimes yeah. it's not a matter of substitu substitution, it's a matter of record. They need to tabulate the water balance. Yeah. That means you can take more or less, but make sure that it's balanced out by input versus output. So not that you cannot, but you need to record it, you know, make sure that there's an equal, equivalent output. That's what it means. So every case is different. You must find out why. Uh, why well, yeah, how much? Is there a limit? Is there a, a, a standard? Or is it just a balance? If balance is very easy. Give more, output more. Input more, output more. Make sense? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, because I, I have, um, because I was trying to help my sister, but the doctor was saying, try not to touch my the water thing because uh, the person is big bound, so they also cannot have too much liquid. Yeah, but as, as long, long as they, 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 they can excrete, you know, unless it's a fixed volume, they can't increase, like right? kidney patients, uh, kidney failure, you cannot take more than so many liters. It's mm -hmm. fixed. Mm -hmm. Because they are afraid of water loading. Mm -hmm. You see? then otherwise you should be able to you see, substitute in the case use a substitution method okay so some people don't do it because of kidney problem yeah so if you use this and you get the need, uh, kidney to work back then the urine will come back but, okay kidney problems are many types okay mm. if the kidney function is totally gone filtration yeah then it's yeah. gone okay. this, this thing won't work your a cheap disease already. Yeah. Ask the... <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Oh, it's like ball head means you cannot recover. You can. Uh, <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can. Because <laughs> ball head is gone already. No, as long as you have hair, you can. You can. The follicles so you the 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 <laughs> I mean, I... I uh, did, I've told this story many times, but uh, I was on an anti-prostate medication that caused hair growth. Right? So I always have a big crop of hair. Like Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump takes the same as him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's hair. Uh, but also he wears a wig, some, mm. some says. So when they stopped this medication by because my prostate increases, my hair was falling off rapidly. Uh, you can see oh, it now. natural. And there was a time when I discovered this. So I started blowing it and the hair come back. The hair loss start to reduce and it grew more hair. So 
one important principle in anti aging medicine is that organs like the hair, the blood, they regrow very fast. No? Because it's a fast moving tissue. Mm -hmm. The slowest, the slowest the is bone. your bone the and bone. your heart. So if you recover in your bone and your heart, there is sure evidence that this thing is working. And we have enough testimonies on videos to say that it works in the bone and in the heart. What else can you show to prove that this is BS as some people say? It cannot be. You see? That's how that's what caused me to be convinced. But sometimes I find it a bit hard to believe, sorry, I mean in the testimony videos where everything has yeah. stopped, and then after a few times they can already... Yeah, it's true. I agree with you. As a scientist, when I look at something, it's too good to be true. Right? <laughs> so I start to search. Huh? Uh. You see? What caused me to really search for it is when I discovered the paper on COVID. Mm. When I read the paper on COVID, I said, hey, this is exactly what we need. So I delve into it. I, the more I go into it, in fact, on my computer, I've collected all, a lot of scientific papers on this. And some are very technical, you won't understand. You know? But they make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, in fact, my friend has got COVID. She just told me she's, today is the second day. She says she used an infrared machine. It was very effective. Yeah. It helped her even if... Of course. Everything. Of course. Infrared, that's right. Uh, this is far infrared. Terahertz is far infrared. But because terahertz now has this whole her. new technology based on this frequency. Oh, infrared is the bit. Uh, you have the bit, the uh, red light, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> when they talk infrared, they usually mean near infrared. So this is in the far infrared, just next to microwave. You see? Far infrared, the yeah. other end. The other end, close, next to Closer microwave. Closer to the microwave. Then you go to microwave and you go into radio waves. Yes. Okay. And because we don't have the technique to study terahertz wave, that's why this was neglected. But now there's a lot of applications. If you just search any of the big areas of research that on terahertz, you'll find tons and tons of papers. Even our local university did some research on terror waves. But that was in uh, communications. See? Right? Yeah? Carry on, carry on. Well, uh, my question is now, suppose you're saying on bones. It's also good on bones, right? So probably the more general bone problem we have are probably our teeth. Holes, uh, tartars, and all that. So this should help also? I don't know. I I, yeah, I have I not seen any testimonies. Mm. And they're basically bones. Uh, you must understand that dentistry a lot to do uh, with with hygiene. Huh? Right. Dental hygiene. Mm. Whether it's scaling <laughs> or and, and more to do with tissues like your gum. your gums and so forth, gum mm. disease and so forth. But we should have help uh, control it. It should help with gun di gum diseases. Mm. Uh, make brush but cleanliness, I don't think this can do anything. The type of feeling yeah. yeah. I mean, it will not only heal the gum, maybe <coughs> regrow the, the bony part of the uh, teeth. Uh, no. The one that has been damaged, so no. you got a hole or something. No. Heal the bacteria. Hole oh, where? Where yeah, is it? Yeah, normally your teeth somewhere in the center. Uh, okay, that is due to uh, food, uh, bacteria food, uh, and then yeah. due, and, and due to a uh, uh, crevice or whatever, right, right, you right. see. But you need to repair it. Oh, uh, that is physical. Really? That is not to do with biological tissue. I don't think so. It doesn't make sense to me. But if you have a broken bone, uh, this will not sort of help with him. No, we are not lizards. Uh, Broken bone, you, you need to set it properly. Setting. Right, right, right. You need to set it properly. Right, after you set it properly, this would accelerate the healing. The growth, you mean oh, the growth? Uh, okay. When you set your bone, what happens is that your bone tissue will attract Region. stem cells and osteocytes Region. will come in, mm. osteoblasts will come in, and this will promote the uh, re regenerating or re yeah, the, the reconnection. production of bone tissue to repair. Mm. So theoretically, 
it can work then you can speak when it's properly right. set the uh, base must be right <coughs> so there, there are many issues involved you know i can't give you all the answers for our cells or bone cells right it, uh, the apoptosis take place only about 30, about 30 years for our bones to, 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 to finalize the thing. But in terms of what he's mentioned, maybe the porosity will help to catch up on the porosity. It might uh, not, because yeah. it's against our human DNA that uh, whatever bones there disappear or broken, if we patch back uh, and become a near bone, we are not lizards where <laughs> when they remove it, it will grow back again. But in terms of the porosity itself, yeah. it might be able to the cells were able to help to, to improve, it but, again, it you know, but it won't be like, you know, you have a teeth, then by blowing it, uh, your, the hole in the teeth will be able to <laughs> patch back, it won't even no, happen that way. It won't grow because yeah. it's calcium, it's kind of an inert material. Correct. Mm. It calcium, must be yeah. set properly to grow properly. Otherwise, there will be deformities. So correct. Mm. And it, you can see from some people, the way they, their hands are deformed, you can tell what kind of fractures they have. Right. It's, it's very clear, you can tell they have been set wrongly or because uh, that bone is angulated in a particular way oh, yeah. as you grow so when it gets broken it can never oh, be set yeah. back as yeah. the normal yeah. so See, uh, okay. deformity tells you See, a young young healthy person the bone will be quite dense yeah. so dense? Uh, uh, dense dense more dense more dense elderly person yeah, this bone will probably be more porous. No. So can we sort of porous? Is opposed to porous. Porousness is due to various hormonal factors. They cause the osteoporosis. 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 You're talking about osteoporosis. osteoporosis. Okay. So technically, this should help in, with osteoporosis as a preventive measure. But uh, when it comes to calcium, I, I study a lot because uh, I, I used to give talks on bones and joints and all that. Mm -hmm. Your osteoporosis is due to many factors. Uh, one of it is the amount of calcium in your body. And uh, milk is probably one of the worst source of calcium. Yeah, yeah. Worse. Worse. <laughs> calcium from your food. Huh? Not your, your, what do you call it, spinach and... Uh, 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 all it's and much better. Right? Yeah, uh, much yeah. better. Good huh? in cow, the Chinese. Huh? Yeah. It's supposed to be good for that. But then you say milk is bad, but when baby we drink milk, yes. it's okay. No, so, but when now for us, it's not baby, we, we If drink. you are taking milk for calcium, that's what I mean. Oh, but for baby, they drink milk is for medicine. Yeah, for babies, it's, it's the natural food until about 2+. plus. Correct, so they drink milk also for calcium. We don't think it's for calcium. It's all the nutrition. It's a total nutrition for the babies. Then you also need to drink the milk, of course. But now we are drinking milk for calcium. If you drink <laughs> milk for calcium, <laughs> it's probably wrong. one of the worst forms yeah. of calcium. <laughs> 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 so, 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 calcium will allow referring to adult, yeah. not referring to babies. Yeah. Yeah. Baby at the two years, they say that the complete. So for baby, it's, it's okay because they yeah, need less course, calcium. Of course. Uh, so for us, we need more. Yeah. That's right. We, we must be very careful when we take too much calcium. It's not, it's not yeah. proper because our cells, uh, yeah. when we receive nutrients, from the, the cell itself, the receptor when it opens, when you have zinc coming in or magnesium coming in, or even one, because they will take only one at a time. So once coming in, the receptor will close, I whatever calcium excess huh, will become calcification. Yeah. So be very the thing is, if, if you don't exercise, yeah. the calcium is not absorbed into the bone. It becomes calcification. Remember that. It's just passed through your urine. The type of calcium was the exercise. It becomes the calcification. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Then you have the type of calcium. That's why they find the cheaper one. Yeah. Not much cheaper. And then calcium must be taken with magnesium. Uh, Correct. Yeah. That's and, important. And D also, right? Or zinc also, right? Vitamin D and magnesium. People say zinc. I'm not. I'm very skeptical about oh, zinc. But by all means, no harm. Mm. But the doctor, when they give you calcium, you know, they prescribe in the polyclinic. They don't tell you about exercise. So the point is, <laughs> one thing bad about Western trained doctors is that <laughs> appeal for an ill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough, too much. <laughs> okay? Right. You cannot change. 
can cause pain, mm -hmm. like gout, okay. huh? like uh, what other crystals uh, can cause pain, mm -hmm. of this kind, mm -hmm. which you know it, it could be there's accumulation of this, you know, mm -hmm. so if, if even a short duration can cause pain, I, you can do a scan to find out actually what is the problem uh, with this technique, mm -hmm. yeah. or you can go to your doctor and ask them to do a blood test for you to determine what is the matter there. But without maybe treating, there's actually. no pain. Huh? Huh? Without treating, there's no pain. Normally, there's no pain. So, so you're inviting a pain. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. no. The, 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 the terahertz blower probably uncovers something. Oh, oh yes. That, that's a pain. I think that's like yeah. yeah. You know? It's just that like if I don't exercise, I don't have any yeah, problem. Then when I exercise, hey, suddenly I have this and then and then, oh, you have this, you have that, right? Uh, just like my friend, uh, sincere watch, one of the sons, uh, he's a doctor, his wife was a doctor. Before I go to the States, the wife said, hey, I have something, I go and see a doctor. The wife went and see the doctor. Okay, this is unusual. Let's scan it. They scan it, they found a cancer. They do the total body scan, the scans are everywhere. Mm -hmm. And she died within six months. There's cancer cells anywhere. Everywhere in her body. Mm -hmm. But does she mm -hmm. have pain before that? No. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no pain. So you recommend? So it can happen. Yeah. Yes. I I I think the simplest thing is if you can walk and if you can, can you run? Yeah. Do it for ten or fifteen minutes, and if it still causes pain, get it evaluated. But it can be anything. But not really. Oh, it can be anything. Just one leg. <laughs> just like, okay, just like not, no pain. No problem. I, I, I understand from the many is also that you know there are some, uh, uh, yeah, maybe you really that some of the, the members also have this small issue. It could be lah, and if it if it goes away, then I won't bother lah. Yeah. But if it persists, then I think find out what it is. Yeah. It can be anything. You see, I can think of anything offhand, but. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. speculation. Uh. So you say that, just now you mentioned that this, this lower can identify. It can identify. You uh, use, uh, it is like shining a torchlight at your tissue, you see. Oh, okay. So you can actually see uh, all the things. So you be similar to those uh, time waiver machines and stuff like that in the market? Uh, bioresonance. Yes, all bio bioresonance. Yes. Oh, okay. Is it like a bioresonance? Yes. So like, this but uh, just using that, you probably cannot identify it. This is just therapeutic device. This is for treatment. That is mm -hmm. for diagnostic. Oh. Find out what is wrong with you. You need to do MRI, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> Cheaper than MRI. <laughs> <laughs> huh? you, you scan the body for resonance. 
the vibration. Oh, that one can tell you what's wrong. Yes. You can see which area of your body has got problems. I have the machine. Last time it used to very good. Now it's just a bag I can carry. You want me to show some of the... They can see your body. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want me to show some of the... the, 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 the s there are scans that you do with the spectacles, you put it on, you can't see anything, but it's, you know, sending the resonance show in. Show on the laptop, is it? Show on the laptop. Uh, there is one that you use... Oh, that one. Uh, on, on your ear. Quantum, is it? Quantum, something, something. Many brands. Uh. Uh, many brands. There are some, you, your hand... Ah, come, 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 I took the complete, mm. he kindly allowed me to take the stick like my intestine. Yeah, yeah. So, which area from the symbol and the color, oh. you will know which one the left side mm. is good. Very good, very good. You see the different areas? Ah? Oh, okay, the yeah. yellow ones are good. Ah. The yeah. down ones coming downwards would be beginning to be, and then presenting on the color. So, it was just at least indicate that which areas you may have some problem. Oh, and up to you. So yeah. so I don't want the cost. Oh, so you yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, maybe one one common question, right? Okay, user, they happy with the device, but yeah, one of the common question they ask right, let's say after about three months, six yeah. months, right, and they're still using, how how they know it's still working? Because they cannot see, they cannot use it. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what should be a good answer to provide that? I, I, I'm looking for a good sensor hmm. to determine whether this machine is still giving up terrible waves. Hmm. Hmm. It's it essential because from what I read about this machine, yeah. is that after some time, it may not, the terahertz wave produced may not be adequate. Yeah. Hmm. And from what I know about the science of how this is produced using a coarse crystal, mm -hmm. They say over time this can deteriorate. Mm -hmm. So uh, you may not get the same amount of terabytes mm -hmm. uh, six or probably more like 12 months or 24 months down the road. Mm -hmm. So does the blue light indicate the, the blue light of uh, no, the no, Blue no, light is a directional device only. Not, 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 not an indication of terror. Mm -hmm. Remember what, what I say in the, in the talk. Terahertz waves are non-luminal. You cannot see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember, you cannot see, but with the sensor you can detect. Uh, I've been trying to look for one. Uh. Oh. So I don't want to buy two cheap one. Two cheap one, they may not be Does accurate. Does the company sell? Huh? No, I, I, I'm looking for. I don't think the company has. You know. They should have, but they're not selling. <laughs> I think the sensors they use are quite different. Yeah. Industrial grade. Sorry, we want something that is uh, useful that can carry along. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm looking around for that. I'm looking at some about 500 to 500 odd dollars, which I think is accurate enough to detect terrorist waves. Mm. My, my, my blower, uh, I think I use for less than one year. I think six months or what. Uh, it just drop, no more, no more using. Just stop. So okay. if you have the one year, one year warranty, warranty you, uh? yeah, I see. Of course, still really warranty. Uh, I'm just saying that you buy some of those. The no, no, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying it just stop by itself. Oh. One day, it could come no more. Oh. Yes, yeah. yeah. the base. Yeah. 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 Did you drop it? They are electrical. No, that one I didn't drop it. This, this is basically an engineering. It's uh, engineering thing. Thing lah. Okay. Because it's engineering, it depends a lot on on the the motor components in it. Oh, the power of QC is at the beginning. Yeah, Where and there. Yeah. Anything that you use, like oh, Russia now being yeah. sanctioned, right? The aeroplanes right. can't be can't be serviced and, and uh, parts replaced, right? Yeah. So same thing, la. So this is thing, it because yeah. I use the hottest thing because the two button, and low, low and the high one. Uh, if I use mm. the high one, it tends to spoil faster, is it? And maybe you use non-stop. If you're using this one, you're supposed to stop. Oh, no, no, many, many, many only. So I can't tell you, I'm not an expert in this area. <laughs> because I use a hot one for 10 minutes. Can you write email to Bersan? Uh, 
Write email to 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 the stockist and to the <laughs> distributor. Maybe they can help. You know, this is not my area. My area is okay. therapeutics. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I did raise a question because you know you know that it's that I I also read about the court then it's like then what happened after that you know or yeah after one year means no warranty. after one year no warranty. Uh, the pro very expensive right? <laughs> Actually, 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 if you compare 450 and all the supplements you are taking, it's actually quite cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And if you compare actually, to the, you go to Amazon, actually, ask for infrared devices. Uh, Average price is a thousand US dollars. So to me, this is cheap. Yeah. So, so solution is to buy a, a new one. Huh? Solution is to buy a new one. Uh, buy a new one. 450 yeah. only one. 450 you multiply divide by 365. Pro is 4,000. 1.2. Yeah. Oh, per day. Oh. One copy per day. Copy, yeah? no, copy all per day. Yeah. Yeah, the one day they look at it. Yeah. So, no, it is, no, the, the, the true value is to compare with something equivalent. Yeah. So, if I don't do this, I take stem cell nutrition. How much will it cost me? It cost me at least $130, $200 a month, depending on how much I'm taking. Mm. And she's a stem cell kit, does it really work? Yeah, it does. I like, have my, like the famous I, put here that one. I have the no 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 no. I have my dislocation of the hips. Uh -huh. So this time, with my previous orthopedic problem, I went for acupuncture and it marvelously recovered. Uh -huh. So this one time round, I decided just to use that cell. Uh -huh. Amazing, the recovery was. The amazing. brand, what brand? You mean the nutrition? Yeah, what the brand recovery. do you take? Cyril. I, I <laughs> plant based or animal based? Yeah, I, I took the one that uh, Janice supplied. Mm -hmm. That is a better preparation than uh, yeah. Saru. Saru has a certain smell I don't like. That's why I take that preparation because that preparation has no smell. Then got one person, uh, he come here to me, he eat putia, to me he's so smelly the body, my god, I cannot say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not my problem. Okay, that's enough for now, thank you all very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you I don't have a card. Can you give a number or something? Let me see, I may have. Thank you very much.